hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is victor and if you are new to this channel i say welcome and if you're a returning subscriber i say thank you for coming back in today's video i'll be explaining and showing you how to design business cards using pixel lab if you haven't watched my previous videos on basic editing tools using pixel lab and also designing website icons and logos using pixel lab i would like you to view that first and uh, having done that let's begin hi welcome guys welcome back first you have your pixel lab opened then clicking on the three vertical dots at the right hand side you choose your image size so i want to choose 1280 by 720 Okay, on the first now click on this text icon, then delete it with the trash can at the top left hand side. Okay, and then I want to change my background to a white color. So um going to the background tool here, clicking on it, then choosing the color at the top here, choose the color. I want the white background, so click on white, then checkbox it next I'll be using um, semicircles and uh, so going to shapes I'll click on the shapes tool at the top and bottom right hand side here go to shapes and um, selecting the drop down arrow beside this square choose a semicircle now the semicircle is white in color so I have to change the color for you to it to be visible so i'll choose this color all right all right so close this and then at the top i mean bottom left hand side you can you know rotate it like this but i need to reduce the size so clicking on the tick dot at the bottom right hand side drag it and then rotate this way we have it somewhere here then i have to duplicate this creating another copy of this so just click on the copy so here i leave this one here something like this but that's going to reduce the bits okay and then working on the second one i can lock the first one here this is already locked so second one i need to make a black color so choose black color mm, color enable it then choose the black color here okay good then before i position it i can make a copy of this make a copy then drag this down here Okay, I just wanted to rotate a bit like this. Something like this would do, I guess. Okay. And then lock the position of that one as well. Come back here. And then here, I need to change this color to brown or make it a bit bigger as well. So choosing the color, I need a brown color so let's see do I have any on this list okay something like this and then we just you know click on the plus icon here um, make it a bit darker uh, let's see something like this so okay now it's not yet the same as what I have here but there's a way I can just you know give it a stroke uh, around so click on stroke here enable it and then make the width and then the stroke should be white color so you can see now there's a partition between the black and the golden yellow so i can increase the stroke a bit so we have that kind of separation smooth separation okay here we go 
and then I can lock this as well. I can unlock this just to make sure I can drag it forward a bit. It looks the same. Lock it back. Also, I need to create more shapes here. So, um, go to shapes. I need a triangle. So, click on the drop down arrow, triangle. And then I need which color. I need this three last color that I just used. So, um, choose a brown color here and then give it the, the same stroke we used just now. And before we do that, just let us copy, make a copy of this, make another copy. All right, so let's begin with this. Uh, turn this one to black. Better still, let me just edit this. So just click on edit. Let me choose this right angle triangle. Reduce the size. And make it a black color. Uh, so I need a black color here. All right, so we have this black color. And to reduce the size, uh, can use this. Okay. So make it easier. I can delete this brown. Then this one just duplicate it. Let's just make another copy of it. So I have it here. Then rotate this. So I want it to be of the same size, so kind of. So this will be golden yellow. So go down to colors, enable the color. Then I need this color. Okay. Now I can lock these two guys, uh, possibly, but let's just move on for now. Going back to the brown triangle, uh, make it give it some stroke here. So the same stroke I used the other time, enable it and make it white color. Let's just drag it here for you to see the effect. So, um, okay. Now, there's a little bit of adjustment to be done here. I even like this pattern, but if just to make sure that it matches the one I have here, let's do it this way. If I want the yellow, the bottom, drag this down. Okay, good. But I think I like it this way. Let's try this way first. Let's see. Now I'm choosing the stroke to be white and then increasing the stroke a bit. Okay, so I have to drag this back. Let's drag the yellow backwards. So from here, drag it down. So the black and the yellow triangles are beneath the brown. So I think the thickness is enough. 11, 12. Let's make it 11. And then okay reduce the size reduce it a bit okay here we go okay so then let's lock this triangle click on the yellow triangle then bring it downward so i can use this position button i want to bring it down a bit so let us reduce the pixel to one pixel so click it go down a little bit tiny baby steps downward okay then let's lock all this in position all right so if you haven't watched my previous videos i've explained how to you know make a website icons and logos so you can just watch that so i'm not going to go through the uh, address icon the message icon and the map icon or location icon so just for some text i'll go to the text icon the a icon here add the text so i need to choose a okay, victor media concept so just type in here victor done okay so now, um, I need 
a style here so let's choose a style let's just go for that okay and then go to the color under the text icon to the color under text so i need to choose a color for victor to be black so reduce this uh, highlighting and then i like only victor that's black then i like only the media and then we have a brown color so we need this brown and then the last part we need the concept only to take the color orange and that's it okay so we have this and this is for the front part i mean the front of the business card so here i can save this project and save project as uh, business I'm done okay 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 i haven't saved this so i can start a new project clicking on this three venn diagram and then go to the folder at the top okay so this has been saved in my project so i can backspace again okay just to fix what is missing here so going to the b0 tools then this first one will be we can increase the width a bit and then the first one will be yellow color then go up make a copy of this and once you make the copy make that color brown so we have a brown color and then go up again make another copy and then this last one will be black and then how do we group all this together we can first click on the checkbox okay and then we have it together like this you can reduce the size then here we go all right so now and you can save this okay uh that's the amazing part okay so we're done with the first part okay we're done with the front page of the business card so now and then looking at our folder here it has been saved so going to default creating a new folder clicking on the three vertical dot at the top choosing the image size so we need one two three by seven currently done okay deleting this text going on the trash icon at the top left hand side okay we need to change our background okay so to white so go to background tools change the color color then choose a white background okay next we need to change choose our triangle shape okay so go to shapes i need a triangle so go this triangle i need the brown color so the first one will be brown and then I need to stretch it here more so this would be my first uh, triangle i can make a copy of this then lock the first one this is locked so the second one here now the second one will be a golden color so here go to color enable color give it the yellow and then i need to give them stroke here so i need to give the stroke enable the stroke 11 okay so drag it down here here we go okay something like this okay and then before i go just duplicate this as well then lock the previous one on this one is enabled now so here we need a black color and then he's already having a stroke so just put the black color on it so here black and then we'll drag it down and then we have our nice uh, looks perfect the same lock this as well and then we need to add text so um if you haven't watched my previous video on basic editing tools with pixel app please kindly do so for add text i'm only at the a icon which is for text icon tools so click on plus i can decide to choose styles like browse and choose any of these styles but i don't want to do that just simple text so double click on the new text and then choose type in for okay so here you can choose a font style 
like this and then I can underline it and then give it a color um, increase the font size if I don't want to do that drag in method I can just uh, click on text size here and increase it okay okay so that's this and then click another new text I don't want to use the previous one because of the underline so double click on this edit I already have on my clipboard the text I want to use so these are the text done okay I need to change the style as well so this no not this one just this style on style and then choose the color I think I already have the color no as black and then let's increase the text size so text size here okay but give it some spacing line spacing so line spacing increase the line spacing as you wish to have it so text and here we go you can lock all this as well and then save it to your gallery as image or save it as a project first thanks for watching and till i come your way next time stay blessed and stay safe and don't forget to subscribe leave a comment give a thumbs up and share with your friends thank you